So in this video, I would like to show to you the awesome features of the NIME tab. If you want to do for uh, deep learning, for example, you want to apply the neural networks, okay? So to train the algorithm to build uh, prediction models, okay? For example, in this case, I would like to create a model, okay, using uh, deep learning neural networks, okay, so that I can forecast uh, the finishing, yeah? the finishing of the football player, right? So based based on these attributes, yeah. So at the first, I have to define the, the I mean, we have to define the features, okay, of the networks, okay. So this is the input layer. At first, we need to have the input layers, and then we have to define how dense is our layers, yeah. And the final one is the output layers, yeah. So as you can see here, if you click here, okay, so the shape of the input layer must be equivalent to the shape of the uh, input features, yeah. So in this case, we have five features, because so that's why I put five here. So the other dense layer also, okay, because I just want to show the example of using it. So you can modify modify it using any uh, number of neurons that you want okay the unit is representing the neurons yeah so in this case i use the same okay number of neurons of the input features yeah? and i use the relu activation function yeah? okay rectify linear unit so i apply two uh, hidden layers yeah? so this is the first hidden layers this is the second hidden layers with the same features yeah? with the same features and same activation function so for the final output layers, I use, okay, this have to be one unit, okay, because we have to, we only have to estimate one values, yeah, for each of the input, all right, so that's why we have to put one unit here, okay, so for the output layers, it must be one unit, yeah, one neuron, okay, I use the same activation function, the directed file linear unit, the same one, right, so this is the, uh, the nodes yeah, in NIMES uh, that we can use to train the algorithm, eh, the neural networks algorithm. Eh. So if we check the configuration here, all right, so these are all my um, input attributes, yeah, okay, input attributes. And then what is the target data? If I go to the target data tab, okay, so I can find, okay, I will assign finishing as the target uh, data uh, uh, features, yeah? as, as target data output, yeah? all right? And also, we can check other sections. For example, okay, I use the back end, the TensorFlow, okay, the Keras function, and the optimizer here, there are a lot of optimizer, and usually we use Adam for uh, regression problem, okay? And you can specify the learning rate, Okay, for in this case, I use 0 0.01. You can use any, all right, that might be uh, you interested want to do the ex uh, experiments. Okay, what is the best learning rates for your model? And the most important thing other is uh, epochs. Yeah? Okay, in this case, the epoch is number of iteration. I set it as 100 and I use training batch size is 128. Yeah? So let's try to run this. Okay, let's try to run this. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, one more, one more thing is, uh, if you check here, advanced option, yeah. okay, so in this case, yeah, um, wait, okay, there is a way, there is a place that we can estimate, and yeah, check, alright, so, the others, yeah, the other that we can set is this one, yeah, okay, wait, there is, uh, okay, ah, uh, this one, okay, so mean absolute error okay i use i will investigate is based on mean absolute error so this one will be uh, mean square i think mean m a e m s e okay i would i would i would like to choose mean square error yeah? okay so that from here i can estimate yeah what is the error how's the error uh, the trend of the error from time to time when we train the algorithm yeah so let's try and run this uh, nodes 
Okay, execute and open view. Okay, open view will show you the learning monitor. Okay, that's the full features about this. Okay, wait. Okay, my text a time. All right. So how long it going to take? It's depend on your computer. All right, it's depend on your PC performance. Yeah. Okay, let me show. This. Okay, so. All right, so from here you can monitor the accuracy of your model. Okay, so you see from time to time, yeah? so it try to converge. Yeah? Of course, the accuracy will increase. Yeah? All right, the algorithm, the, uh, the neural networks itself, it try to get the most base uh, results. Yeah, that we we have high accuracy. But if we check the loss, okay, we also can check into the loss. So you see here. Okay, so of course, if we want to have a model, we have we want to have a model with a very uh, with a minimal loss. Okay, so you see here the loss, yeah, the loss factor here, the loss estimation, which is based on mean square error. Okay, it reduces, yeah? and you see my computer also uh, require a lot of powers in order for me to run this uh, training. Okay, to train this algorithm. And you see the epoch okay this is just 14 okay we are not sure how long it's going to take okay it's depend on the power of your pc also right so you see uh, the, we still the, the algorithm try to increase the build uh, try to increase the uh, the conversion okay the conversion of the accuracy so it will try to make it more higher than this okay but because we use the loss okay because we use we measure it based on the loss function, okay, mean square error just now. So you see it will converge, eh? okay, the loss error here, okay, I think it's already minimized that, okay. So it depends on you if you want to make a decision based on the loss, okay. So I think we can, you can stop, okay, we can stop the iteration, okay, you can stop the iteration, all right. Meanwhile, you also can check, eh? Okay, if you want to check the validation data, so this is the validation data. So how it works? Okay, if you take a look over here, right, right. So what else we can observe? So it's still uh, not converged because we are choose we are choosing the loss function. Okay, so let's stop this. Uh, and okay, let's say we agree. Okay, with the loss uh, measurement here. Okay, because it has a very loss measurement at very low, eh? the, 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 the loss already been reduced eh? from time to time. Okay, we can stop. Alright, okay. Alright, so let's take a look into the... Okay, so now you will get the green indicator, indicate that you are completing, yeah? you are completing uh, the training process of this algorithm.